Okay, today I'm going to tie a Kelvin strip and we're using an A-Rex size 10 double. The thread is going to be some UTC 70 uh, fire orange. Okay, let's get started. So I like to start with thread, kind of where my body's going to end and my wing is going to get tied in. So anywhere around there. So start it off. And I got a wee bit of wire in it. And the wire is going to stop around the same place where I've started my thread. And that is to keep the body nice and tidy with no lumps and bumps. So I'll bring that down just past the hook points. And three or four wraps of the wire will be plenty. So every tar has their own way of tying the Calvins using different materials and stuff. This is mine. Um, there's no right way and there's no wrong way. Uh, it's a very popular fly and I think every way of tying it produces fish. I think there's been a few fish caught in my patterns this past season. I know I had a couple myself on it. Okay, so the tail has three colours on it. Um, and I'm going to use our beat runner. Okay, so the first section is red. And we're going to put that in. About there. Should do it. So when you're tying the runner in, just make sure it stays on the top part of the hook. And if you don't secure it, it will turn around and start wrapping around the shank. So as part of the red tail, or the red section of the tail, I like to add a wee bit of flesh into it. This is red micro flesh. Just make sure it's at the top of the, the shank and then trim that off to the same length as your red tail. Next section is orange and I like the orange to sit a wee bit further past the red like so. Again, what I'm doing is I'm turning all the fibers, keeping them nice and tight, and tensing them nice and tightly at the top to make sure they stay on the top part of the hook and they don't start turning around. And just check it there. Yeah, we're good. So we'll add a wee bit of flesh to the orange section of the tail as well. a couple of loops just to secure and we'll trim off that flesh to the same length as the orange. So the red flesh is a different length than the orange flesh so that's a stand out in the water. Okay. Final section of the tail is a nice bright magenta. We'll set that on. And just bring your thread down to your wire, holding the tail up and tight. Okay. Happy with that. So trim off all your waist ends and I'm gonna come in at an angle. I wanna try and keep the body section here. Uh, as smooth as possible. So that looks okay to me. Maybe just the reds a wee bit long. 
take from that off. And then pay the all out. So touch and turns going forward to the edge of your hook. So for our rib, we're going to use some small Mirage tinsel, uh, and this is really, really bright. Um, I think it looks great for our rib. So again, pan that in to where your body starts, and then just bring that back. And if you have a wee material clip, get it up out of the way. Okay. So a little bit of wax on the thread. And then we're gonna have it done by. I think every tire has their own unique blend of dubbing to use for the Kelvins. So this is mine, I like it nice and bright. And I like it to have a wee bit of UV reflectivity on it. So I'll make sure that's nice and tight in one wrap, just to secure it in. And be able to tighten it up a wee bit more. So I like my dubbing to be nice and tight and don't like a fluffy body. So I like to tighten it up just as I go. Make sure it's all nice and tight so we don't have any big strands sticking out. So that's fine there. So what I'll do now is I'll pull all the strands back take them away from where the head's going to be because any kind of strands going forward from there it's just going to add bulk into the fly that I don't need. So you can see here there's a couple of strands sticking out so I'm going to trim them off making sure that I don't trim away my rib. Now they were perfectly fine you could have left them I just like a nice tighter body. So bring a rib round and all we need is two or, well, three or four wraps of the rib. And you can see here just how bright that shines through the body. Okay, I'll just tie that in. Two or three wraps. And then we'll bring it back on ourselves so it's nice and secure. And we'll trim that off. So trim off any more excess, excess strands of body that we don't want. For the wing then, it's an orange wing on the Calvins. I think I'm going to use some dyed fox mask. So we'll pull off a bit of material the right length that you want to use for your wing. And then just work it and pull out all that under fluff. Again, all that will add bulk into your fly around the head area that you don't want. So I'm holding all the longer fibers and I'm pulling out the fluff. And I just take out any long guard hairs. And work in the material to get that nice shape of a wing. So I want my wing to kind of be coming in halfway down the purple. So there are thereabouts. I'm happy with. So that'll do me. Put that in. 
Couldn't somebody be putting a nice tight turns to hold that in place? We'll trim away this excess. Again, a couple of nice turns. You can add a little bit of glue to your thread at this stage if you're worried about the wing coming out. I'm happy enough there, nice and tight. You can also add some flash if you want flash in your wing at this stage. But uh, I don't like flash in my wings and my calvins. So now we add in our hackles at the front. So there's two hackles. There's a hot orange and then there's a, a red. So I've already pulled these hackles and prepared them. Uh, a few people asked me the last time, you know, how I done the hackles. Um, so I'll maybe do a video at some point showing that. Um, there's a few ways of doing it. And the way I was shown is the way that I use and I'm happy enough with it. So tie the tip in and pull it back and then a couple of nice tight turns to secure that in place and we'll pull out the tip. So two or three turns of each haggle is enough I feel. And just make sure when you're turning the haggle you get nice tight touching turns. Thread out of the way, and for every turn, you see here I'm kind of working the haggle back, so it gives it that nice profile. Um, take your time at this point. You know, make sure your haggles are nice and neat and tidy. So I think maybe one more turn on this will do. Off your access turns and catch the stem and two or three wraps going forward will hold that in place and then put your stem back and tie it in nice and tight and that haggle is going nowhere. So trim off the access. And then we're into our red haggle. Okay, so this is a badger haggle. So two or three turns to hold it in place. Pull your tip back. Two or three turns going forward again to hold it in place. Pull out your tip. So again, two or three turns of your hackle here is all you want. Anything more than that, you're really adding a lot of bulk at the front of the fly. I don't like it anyway, but it's their own, I suppose. Pull off a couple of strands there that are going too much for us. I'll put that back around again. Take off your excess turns. Tighten up your thread. And a couple of nice tight turns to secure. So, same thing, pull your stand back and then wrap it up. Nice tight turns. So I find it's very important to have a nice tidy head. Now you can you can see here how small 
that that head is. To me, it's too small. You know, we need to add our jungle cock in, but I like a more bigger uh, head. Okay, so putting our jungle cock in. Okay, copy with that. Nice and tight, secure. So two or three wraps just to hold in place and then have a wee check to see if you're happy. So to stop the jungle cock, cock getting pulled out, pull your stems back and have another couple of wraps over them. And that tightens everything up. So what I'm doing now is I'm making sure that my thread covers the exposed edge of where I fold it over. Uh, you know, cock. So what happened there was my thread opened up. So if you turn your thread around like so, it tightens everything up and enables you to get a tighter turn. So I like a nice bigger head on this and this will be nice and bright. So just build your head up, how you like it. And that'll do me. So, look finish. Two or three turns, and then just trim off your extra. Trim off the stems of your jungle cock. And there you have it. That's the Calvin Swim tag up. Now, how I finish my flies is I like to use super glue and then a little bit of UV resin. And then some. Some varnish over the top of that. So, nice clean needle, and I just dab the glue on. That gives us a nice clean head. Us. So we'll give that a few seconds and then we'll put on our UV. Okay, once your glue has dried, do UV. Gives it the nice glossy finish. So, again, take your time with this because you don't want to be pushing your UV or your glue or whatever into your haggles. So, that's it on. And now, I'll just cure that with a UV light. So you can see here just how bright the fly is. And that is our Calvin shirt. Thanks for watching.